Hi guys, Björn here with Tension, and um, Tension has a PC in its dome, and currently I'm using Willow Garage Robot Operating System ROS to um, control the droid and display measurements from the droid in the PC, and I'd like to show you a bit about how that works and about the software I've written for it. Okay, so here's what's happening. Um, the actual control on my droid is done via an Arduino in the um, in the droid body, which talks to the motor controllers, talks to the sensors, etc. And um, I have a software component on the PC that's um, called Base Interface here. It's actually an instance of a ROS component that I've written myself. Um, so what this basically does is it talks to the Arduino in the body via serial line, reads data, sends commands, etc. So um, this base interface publishes some states about the droid's joints, for example, the arms, the um, 232 mechanism, yeah, right, if I had any, um, the dome position, stuff like that. Um, sends that to a state publisher. The state publisher makes it into a transform that can be used by a visualization component. The visualization component is RVIS. At the same time, the base interface also sends a transform about the droid's current position. Also a transform um, sends it to RVIS. And here's what RVIS makes out of it. So currently what this does is if I turn the droid's dome, then the software component sends that, puts that into a transform, and sends that back to the um, ROS system. And when I move the droid, you can see motion represented in the visualization as well. So I can basically take a look at what my droid is currently doing. And that's the very first step. The next thing that I'm going to do is um, be able to send commands to the robot platform and um, control the droid basically via software. And then I can use all those nice ROS components that are already ready-made, for example, mapping, um, autonomous motion, stuff like that. Okay, so that's basically it. I'm going to um, integrate the stuff that I did on face tracking in this robot operating system. It's not that difficult, I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Um, and of course, I've published all the software that I've written for this. It's on sourceforge.net. Um, project name is astromech ROS. Um, there's also a tutorial page on the wiki where you can see how to add that to your own droid. Unfortunately, it's not that simple yet because um, basically every droid is different and the interface to the actual hardware platform is a difficult thing. So that's something that um, if you want this on your own droid, you have to recreate for yourself. It's not that hard, but you need to um, be able to use Linux and to program C++ for it. Um, if you want, then um, just send me a, um, a mail or PM through astromech.net 